Hello and welcome back to StarCraft, where today we're going to be jumping into another round of Direct Strike here with Artanis. A lot of you guys may know uh, there have been some balance changes that went out. This is actually why I've kind of slowed down on the whole showing you guys how to play Direct Strike Commanders in that one playlist that I was working on. Uh, mostly because everything has been changed. The balance changes, the all the patch notes, basically broke everything and now there's a lot of reevaluation as to what is considered good and what matchups have been turned upside down. So right here I am Artenis. It looks like we are up against Han and Horner, as those are the uh, the uh, the Han and Horner Hellions. We're going to have to play around against those. We do actually have a couple decent options here. Um, the ideal is that we don't face we don't face Han and Horner in the sky, but if we but we can actually contest him with just mass tempests. Turns out tempests with the disintegrate ability are very good versus the the Vikings. If we give him an O7. Good job, nice salute for you too, friend. So we're gonna, you know what? Let's go ahead and give that a try. That was that was a tactic that worked out really well before the patch notes, and I suspect it's actually going to be somewhat stronger now. With the additional guardian shell bonus, simply mass tempest may work out pretty well versus the versus the mass well any kind of air unit out of Han and Horner. Because as it turns out, Purifier Tempests are almost the same cost as the Han and Horner air units, which means that we can get away with just beating them in a straight up 1v1, because Disintegration removes any one Han and Horner air unit out of the uh, out of the field. So that's basically 360 minerals of Viking just gone right out the gate without any loss to my side of the units. And then we have an entire Purifier Tempest to deal damage to the next unit in line, which makes it quite quite good versus the Haunted Horner Air. It's not free, it's not cheap, but we are already tier 3 and Haunted Horner hasn't really punished me for this, doesn't have any cheese things going out, so I can just start massing these Tempests. We can add the Guardian Shell to the Purifier Tempest in front, meaning that they will survive guaranteed any of the anti-capital ship missiles that come out of the Han and Horner Vikings. So we'll be able to keep that alive and keep going. Now of course because I've rushed tier 3 I have not also gained access to the assimilator. Even if we were winning our wave during that by some miracle, let's say my opponent just made some decisions that made him not completely destroy me despite me being tier 3, then I would never have gotten a second assimilator there. So. We are tier 3 and we are working on our our Tempest. And now I need to start really winning my wave and pushing before I could even think about getting this deck like assimilator. And of course, we are winning our wave by virtue of my opponent not being able to shoot up at me. That doesn't mean that it's going to maintain that wave for long. My opponent is going to respond to my Tempest and I need to make sure to be on top of his response and deal with whatever he sends me before I start gassing up and going even harder into eco and getting greedier because otherwise if I were to eco right now and then I don't have an observer or a second tempest out because of it then I just lose my next wave to my opponent's response and things get really bad for me so I'm not all about that I want to be figuring out if this strategy still works for just a hunter horner as I suspect it does and we're going to be making it making sure we stay on top of our wave here now of course there are swarm queens here let me go ahead and get this disintegration going it looks like my opponent's response is three Reapers, which don't have the jetpack upgrade, so they cannot fly, which means they can't actually they can't actually shoot up at me, which is a questionable decision on his part. Uh, we have been underrun, and we almost lose our bunker for it. Keep getting another Tempest here. I may actually have to invest in any amount of ground units so we don't lose our bunker. Which would be sad. I don't want to have to do that. I want to just get the Purifier Tempest count up so high that my opponent can't recover from it, and then we stack forever. Hmm, this is going to be a concern, it looks like. Oh, Nova is going for the Ghosts, which is... I'm not actually sure how that works out. I, I doubt it works out at all. Ghosts are kind of a bad unit. But Abathur has been buffed so strongly recently that it, I don't know what the appropriate response is here, which is going to make things difficult. Very difficult. Oh dear. The Hellions do so much anti-armor damage. 
It's gonna take two. Okay, okay, we don't lose. We don't lose the bunker. We just lose all of his defenses. But we are doing more and more damage to the wave. So as long as we keep this up and going, let me go ahead and activate shields for my Alarak teammate here. That way, all of his units don't die to these Ravisaurs and other things. The harder we stack here, the better. And I want to make sure that we stack very, very hard here. Let's go ahead and get another Tempest up here. And again, as you guys can see, it's it, we were so close to losing our bunker, I really can't afford to gas here, despite us sternly winning our wave. Like, every one of my team is winning my wave. They're just underrunning us, and I do not want to lose that bunker. Alrighty, can I get one air attack upgrade? Ah, uh, there is the Viking we're looking for. Alrighty, can we get one Disintegrate on you? We can. So Disintegrate does 500 damage. So despite this Viking blinking away, all it does is slowly walk forward to get obliterated again. We have all these Disintegrates coming out here. Three Hellions survive to underrun, which is not a big major concern. Not a major concern at all. Poor Dahaka trying to deal with us, but we stack so hard it is great. Alright, sweet. We actually, I'm pretty certain we actually had some disintegrates come off of cooldown from that last wave, which is weird because it's got a very, very long cooldown, but hey, you know, it works. Just keep adding on our extra, our extra guardian shells, and these mutas are going to do terrible things to us, but if he's getting mutas, then he's not getting units, <laughs> he's not getting units to deal with, to deal with Kerrigan, uh, Nova here, good lord. He is right. The vanguard, the vanguard uh, ability is quite quite strong. I'm going to take these off auto cast for a moment here. Cast manually cast onto these queens, and then on the two Vikings. Come on, it's out of range. Come on, one more, one more. Get a little bit closer. There we go. Goodbye, all you Vikings. Excellent. Thank you. Yikes. He keeps eating all of my Tempest, which makes me sad. Keep getting more of these. Uh, he did have a question. Goes are two or three libs for... Oh, for... Uh, I, as, as I was just saying, I don't actually know the appropriate solution for Nova versus... Versus uh, Abathur here. It's kind of kind of a difficult matchup. Ghosts are not the answer. I'm not going to give him an answer because I don't I don't know what the answer would be and I'm not I'm not sure. I can tell you the ghosts are not going to be the answer because Abathur's units are quite inexpensive. So using that mass snipe won't solve the problems that he's having. Go on, one here, there we go. Thank you. And there we go. Excellent. So now I've got plenty of Plenty of disintegrates for all of these units here. Shoot the is disintegrating. We've got a, already got a disintegrate. I, didn't I have a disintegrate out of you? I'll cast one on you again, anyways. So can I get a disintegrate on anything else here of value? Or do I just leave this auto cast and move on with my life? Okay, auto cast and move on with my life. Make sure that these are placed before the next spawn wave. I only get one. This is fine. And move on with my life. Great, sweet. This is how we do. I think we get the photon cannon here. We were at least pushing hard enough that I, I knew I could start working on the next simulator in time. Not that it was on cooldown. And is that all we have here? Oh, we just we have so many tempests that we just try to beat down the Vikings. So for reference, the Vikings do beat the purifier tempest in a one v one. It's only the ability, the disintegrate ability, that makes it even, or rather that it gives the Tempests the ability to beat them out, uh, but when you have enough, when you have enough of these tempests, or you're so far ahead of the Vikings that you straight up beat the Vikings in just sheer numbers, that's a uh, that's a milestone right there. I am going to be casting my shield overcharge the moment Alarak goes down here. That way we can keep Alarak's units alive a little bit longer. Okay, he was, I was. A little bit early on that, but you know what? It works out just fine. Good job, Alarak. Still alive here. Liberators are running free. 
Make sure to keep you going down. We have so many of these guardian shells. We can just straight up, straight up give all of them guardian shells, and that's it. GG. All right, guys, if you want to see more videos like this where I describe everything that's going on in my mind as I make these decisions through these matches, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we have more videos just like this coming out soon. But for now, I'll see you guys later.